Hello, YouTube, and welcome back into some Let's Play Civilization Six. We did reload it. I got very flustered by that turn. Chat gave me permission to, to reload my misclick. So uh, we are still at war, uh, and we're going to bring our army over there. I'm going to detour briefly for that. Gives us a population here, which... Better to do that, and then the next the next citizen gets to work this, which is pretty exciting. Oh, hi. Grab our water of life. Let's get another archer here. Although, again, walls would do a similar job. I don't want to build walls and then have them just get destroyed. That would be sad. So what do we have? We have four archers. We have th no five archers. And then one, two, three, four, five of those as well. Okay. Might want a couple more. Oh, and we should move Amani. Are there any first-time Sus that we can get? Yeah, there still are. There still still are a couple. So why don't we reassign you to here? Seems fine. Maybe Granada too. We have one charge on this builder. I don't have any great tile bomb or uh, culture bombs. So I think I'm just going to make a mine here. We'll grab a couple free tiles. We are building walls, so we don't need this. I also do need to do a policy switch here. These walls are almost done. So I can drop that. <clears throat> now, the cute thing to do is add maintenance into all of our units uh, via... Oh, no, that's a Dark Age policy, isn't it? I think we're thinking of the uh, Dark Age policy where you add maintenance into your units and give them more XP and then run conscription. I become less and less interested in the Six Farm Eureka for feudalism. Do I tend to try for it? It just depends on the game. There are games where it's like so far out of the realm of possibility where it's like, I'm not getting two builders right before feudalism just to get the, the Eureka, you know, like I'd rather get the builders after feudalism. Um, so it just kind of depends. Like, there are definitely games where I'm like, oh, I already have four farms. This is crazy. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll get two more. That seems fine. And, and if you have Faith faith Gen and Monumentality Golden Age, then I also tend to try to go for it. I think we leave this in for now. I might want to bring in Veteran C. Or just take, what, five, five, five gold per turn significant. Hey, Simek, how you doing? Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. All right. Uh, yeah, I think conscription for the, the, the little bit of gold it gets us. We're going to still produce a couple units. We want the production, and then charismatic leader is fine for some envoy stuff. Although we do have three envoys in diplomatic league. Can I take a look at this before we... Uh... So places where we have zero envoys here, 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 and here. Okay. I'm going to want a faster policy switch then. We'll put in Diplo League for some doubled up envoys briefly. We'll drop out limes. We'll keep that in here. And then we'll bring in conscription like that. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right. Uh, and then let's send out those envoys to get us production, production, culture, and... Oh, I can't send them there because... Yeah. I think I can suze... Oh, hello, society and governor promotion. We did look at Hermetic Order as well. Uh, it's actually pretty decent on this map, and we may take it for variety's sake. Uh, I'm hoping to still join Vampires, but we'll see. And then, yeah, I think I could I can spend one on Grants um, because we do have Engineer points going with an Engineer up. 
So this could help us get like Terracotta or maybe Statue of Zeus if we want to build the new wonder. Um, not sure. We'll see. But we should have options once we grab that engineer. All right. So the war front is moving steadily west here. I still have another governor title. I know I'm going to save it for whatever society we wind up um, joining. Because by the time we get there, we're going to want two promotions in it, I think. Trade some Diplo favor for... I don't need open borders, but I'll take your gold. It seems all right. You can have my open borders. Barbs cannot raise your capital, so I'm not, like, super worried about it, about this situation. Let's culture bomb some tiles here. And then we're almost in position. He has, like, no military. This is great. Should be fairly impressive. Where are we at? We're here. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> this is, this is, <laughs> I, uh, classic Civ 6, man. The Barb's putting up more of a fight than the Khmer. Classic Civ 6. Double catapult, huh? You only get hit once now <clears throat> in response to that. So hopefully we're not too bad. Okay, so we have teched... At least Eureka is on most of our ancient era now. We are almost at engineering. Two turns left. I think we can tech horseback riding. Quick granary is a good idea in our cap as it is stifled the growth. So we'll just take these tiles. They're not like that wasn't the world's greatest culture bomb, but getting free tiles is good. Uh, it'll it'll put our tile growth to other ones, um, and so we'll just kind of generally expand more quick, more quickly, which is good. All right, turn sixty coming up. No, thank you. Peace is not an option. Never was. Here come barbarian swords. <laughs> this is quite a quite a predicament we've gotten ourselves into over there. Moving in. Oh, hi. You got Paititi. Oh, no. I got the, the other one. It looked like Paititi. Yeah, walls in the cap could certainly uh, be a good idea. We have much and more to build. Hey, 
<laughs> he just built us another settler. That was so nice of him. Thank you. Yeah, let's go ahead and get walls in the cap. I feel bad not getting that uh, workshop yet, but is what it is. Boop. Ooh, sword, huh? A war road would have been so very helpful. Let's get our industrial zone now. Um, we're going to go ahead and get the... It's plus two just for this, and then it'll be plus four, and then eventually when I get that, it'll be plus six. Trader should be freeing up fairly soon, probably when it gets back, so two, four turns is my guess. No, it has eight more to go. This is our watermill city, and this is a Eureka that we want, so let's go ahead and grab it. He's got vampires. Why can't I have vampires? Holy cow! A wise man told me to come see some person live on the <laughs> internet. I did and found an amazing community. I made a Twitch account only to support this wonderful channel. That is perhaps the nicest thing ever. Thank you so much. Can we get some TGM riches in chat? As a whopping, a whopper of a donation. And thank you so much, buddy. That's so kind of you to have stopped by the live stream. We're happy you're here. And I'm glad you're enjoying your stay. Thank you, thank you, and welcome on in. Appreciate that so very much. So very much. All right. Um, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I mean, I'm not using these, right? Thank you for the chat, Spam. Um, I don't need your open borders. You can have mine. And then maybe this as well. Oh, you don't have a whole lot of money. Why are you so poor? At least you're rich in, in glue now. Ouch. That hurt. All right. First Suzer in there. So Amani World Tour. We could go to Granada now. Potentially. We shall try. Although it looks like they're about to die. We are at our golden age already. So we're at 66 era score. Which is good. All right, here comes some reinforcements. Uh, let's go ahead and start getting in position to take the city. Thanks for the settler. This is okay positioning. We've got some more coming. Crossbows. Crossbows are terrifying. Turn 63 makes sense.
Uh, I don't think I can really clear this sword, huh? So I suppose we should just go tortoise, knowing that there are crossbows about. Oh, this is Reyna. I was like, I can't pillage that. Reyna is in the city. I really don't want to take an attack here from the crossbow in response, especially when these two can also hit us. So if I leave this archer here or take an attack, I think we lose it. So I'm going to be a little bit scared. Be a little bit scared, I think. We'll very, very happily pillage for money. Can't be Reyna? No, there's woods here. Look. Reyna. This isn't next to an unimproved feature. Um, I guess maybe that is. Although this could be owned by a different city. Yeah. See, this is owned by the cap. It is Reyna. Hello, Reyna. All right, ancient era units. Let's kill some crossbows and defeat medieval era units. That's totally doable, right? What do I think about secret societies in the sh shuffled tech and civics tree? Um, shuffled isn't really for me. I love secret societies, though. Secret societies are my favorite thing to come to Civ 6 since, um, well, I guess all of it. But, uh, yeah, secret societies add so much replay value to the game. It makes me very happy. Governors? Hi, Imperator. How you doing? I don't know. What are, like, my favorite things that have come to Civ 6? Is wasted. Who did we just meet? Cardiff. We're close to circumnavigating. Yeah, we are kind of getting there, aren't we? We should we should not do that. Shuffle's fine. I, I think a lot of it has a lot of appeal for a lot of people. I'm just not one of them. So many freaking catapults. What's the issue with circumnavigating is we don't need to, and we want to save the era score for the next era because we've already got our golden secured. It's an industrial zone, by the way. Yeah, the loyalty mechanic was pretty sweet. That's one that I've enjoyed over the years. Let's go get crossbows of our own. I hate, I hate building workshops. They feel so bad. All right, so what's our move here? Are we still debating with this? I honestly think, I honestly think with the uh, Fountain of Youth promotion, we can like tank this damage with an archer. That might be a little bit optimistic. We'll see. I'm going to save this promotion. And I think I am going to try to debate
I do not have the healing card in, no. Not at the moment. Interesting. This did not move. Smells the jabate. Did not move. Otherwise, I might be inclined to agree that, that the crossbow might be heading there. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna, we're gonna have a little standoff. We're gonna have a, 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 a Chimerian standoff. For the most part. So I think I'm going to take this attack. I might lose this archer now. But my hope is that if I don't, <clears throat> I'm going to be able to move enough troops in position. Actually, since there are two things to shoot, might as well do this now too and that now too. And then might as well do this. All right, so we're in position then. And I think we have enough attacks to clean this up. What societies are good for what wind types? Um, they kind of have a society for each wind type. Um, like Hermetic Order is, and and frankly, Owls. These are both decent for like science and um, and Diplo stuff. Void Singers is really good for anything faith based, and then Vampires is good for domination. But they they can be mixed and matched. Like it's not those aren't hard and fast like things that you must do. Pyramids are still up. Do I want to go for a ten turn pyramids? Yeah, cult is work with culture too. Again, there, there there are yeah there are variations of what works, obviously. I think I have to try for this. Let's look and see if anyone uh, is building it. No. All right. I'll go for it. You guys know I will. So that if that becomes oops. If that becomes pyramids, uh, and then it gets two more mines like that, it'll be plus three. That'll be plus three. Is there a best and a worst, or are they fairly balanced? Uh, generally speaking, people are going to agree that uh, Hermetic Order is the worst. Uh, and it's really not the worst, it's just the most inconsistent. Um... Like, it, it's just, it's very unreliable, and it's really unfortunate that you just have to pick the entire policy um, in order to see where, like, the ley lines are. So, it's it's not that it's, like, bad. It's just that people don't pick it. And it, it also comes down to RNG versus the other ones kind of don't. Still just have the one extra governor policy. All right, I'm very curious to see if we lose a unit here with the for, from the archer and the uh, catapult. Thalia, thank you for being here. Yeah, I'm having a great day. Uh, happy to be online. It sucks to not have a cam. It's really weird, but uh, thank you for hanging out and have a wonderful day. Thanks, 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 thanks. Spread out all the damage, so we're good. Whew, that was close, though. Oh my god, speaking of gentle eruptions, Eddie Van Halen died, you guys. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Uh, Ma Maldor? Maldoror? Thank you so much uh, for the follow. Welcome in. Yeah, can we get some Fs in chat? Or maybe TGM sad for Eddie Van Halen? It was only 65. 
I guess the Beatles, Beatles were right and no one needed him after 64? I don't know. I want to wait to send out this trader. Uh, is this going to go on YouTube? Yes, this is going on YouTube. It's okay, he's running with the devil now. Nice. Um, I think I want to wait. I think I can take this city fairly quickly, and then I'd love for this road to tie all this stuff together. Take that. I also I also learned as a result of that. I didn't realize he was the um he was the guitar solo in Thriller. I seriously had no idea. Oh, and beat it. Sorry. Be beat it. My bad. Misspoke. And beat it. I did not know that. So if I want this industrial zone, actually, I guess this is a plus four. This is one, two, three. No, this is better, right? So then I need to settle here. And let's get some tiles with a culture bomb. Got a decent amount of faith. We might be able to bring in monumentality for a tick. And I'm leaving this little cohort of units up here. I'm too afraid of barbs on a big old map like this. <laughs> That's awesome, Fuzzy. <laughs> I mean, Eruption is a guitar solo. Like, that is just so good. Yeah, we can, uh, we can maybe drop this since we're building pyramids. Oh, I'm so close to having all these farms, aren't I? I have one. If I get them a builder, two, three, four. If we take this city, they have several. I'm so close to getting this. Don't have anywhere to go, though. Well... Technically here, I guess. Uh, yeah, and I need to remember to not circumnavigate. How are we doing on the era? Yeah, we got we have time. There's time now. So close, I have one. That's like almost six. Like, one is suspiciously close to six. I think I, I will forego pillaging that farm for the aforementioned reason. Don't circumnavigate, go this way. Okie dokie.
Oh, hi. Where'd you come from? Uh-oh. We have another crossbow. Hopefully we're okay. So we settle, we culture bomb, and then we have spots for our industrial zone, which is pretty much how this civ is supposed to work. And that's pretty sweet. Possibly here, if we can get another envoy there. And again, I'm trying to avoid the circumnav. This is okay. Don't really want to friend Monza either, because he's next. Again, I don't need your open borders. Well, Ratho, I haven't really had that issue of all the issues I do have. <clears throat> all right, so that crossbow went into the city center, which means the city needs to die. Let's see if we can kill it. Turns out we can. Uh, you know what? You're not really doing anything at the moment. So we need to do that. Good. So we killed the crossbow with that, which is nice. Obviously, this is going to be a bit of a problem. I'll worry about their districts in a minute. I very much just want them to get a builder. So we have one, two. This is three. And then we'll be able to repair that for four. So here's our road that we've been looking for. We'll go explore Spain for a minute. War can only bring us loss. Loss of lives, loss of productivity, loss of our very humanity. Whoa, Spain's got some units. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> I 
All right. I'll take another scout, I guess. Hey guys, economies aren't super spectacular. Why do I think that is? I don't know. I actually don't know. That's a good question. He's warring the Khmer. But not a ton of other wars. Rome. Rome warring a bit. I don't know. I assume this city's going to uh, flip a couple of times here. This is a 10 pop cap, and this city doesn't have fresh water. So kind of what you would expect. Okay, so we're at six of eight housing. I, do I even want encampments? Like I do, but I might not need them. So what could we do here? I could go to construction and grab terracotta. Statue of Zeus is up. Oracle's still here. TOA still here. Yeah, some science would be good. One turn for science seems fine. Maybe I'll just grab a quick builder then. We're getting like pre-feudalism builders, which feels terrible. It's <laughs> getting ready for something. Ah, it was a very weak attack. I should have looked at the tooltip. All right, we have campuses unlocked, so we can get those. Commercial hubs are pretty required. I think I really like the idea of this terracotta. So I'm going to see if we can keep going in that direction. Yeah, Zeus is available. We could maybe go after Statue of Zeus. Uh, what do I think of Statue of Zeus? Is it as good as Terracotta? No, I don't think it's nearly as good as Terracotta. Um, and I think it's situationally good. I think I think the games where you're going to want to build it, like it's going to feel fine. And then most of the time you uh, don't go out of your way for it. But that's the same as like Terracotta or frankly anything else. 
So we still have this barb camp being a problem. I guess I didn't even see it earlier, but we have the troops to respond. So hopefully we can handle this reasonably. And now I'm looking at this campus. And we'll chop it. Oh, and we lost our road. How far did you get? Got here. That's almost far enough. Lame. I think I'm just going to go here. Don't worry about the road later. We've like come too far for that to actually matter. Rip! Hey, Sarge, how you doing? Why not raise them? Yeah, we could. It's pretty bad to raise cities in Civ 6 these days. We have all kinds of issues from all kinds of directions. Specifically this one. I might need a pause here to think about what we're actually going to be able to continue to get done here, um, especially with the lack of loyalty and things like that. So let's go ahead and put a cut in the video. We're due for that anyhow, uh, and we'll come back and decide if we're going to continue out. That was a pretty reasonable like trade offer. We could make peace, expand. I don't know. We have, we have options. We have options. Thank you so much if you've been watching over on the YouTubes. Don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash thegamemechanic and come say hi to us in person on the internet.